to the light welter and finally finish with the welterweight division. That's the red corner, Jitendra Thakur, 23 years of age, Himachal Pradesh University, Shimla, 2019-20 North Zone Championship, he won the gold, 2020 All India Varsity Championship, won the bronze medal. Now role model is uh, oh, a boxer that you are very fond of, Sid, can you just lead us through? Of course, the great Philippine, probably the greatest Philippine athlete of all time, Manny Pacquiao is uh, who he idolizes but he's up against this boy Mukul Saini and to read us through his achievements will be my co-com because they are pretty special and he comes from a state which my co-com hails from. Marci Dayanand University MDSR you know he comes from Rajasthan 2017 Haryana State Championship silver medalist Haryana State Championship gold medalist senior national games 2019 Vishakhapatnam he won the gold medal as well so blue corner is uh, Mukul Saini and uh, one year younger to him in the red corner is Jitendra Thakur. It's going to be an enterprising bout. That's what the officials do at the start. They check uh, whether the gear is in uh, right position or not. I don't see them wearing the headgear. Will they be wearing it now or will they go without it? Sir? Well, usually it starts from the welterweight division where you are allowed not to wear it becomes optional. But for both of them, they may have decided not to go for it. But uh, slightly unusual to see them without uh, the headgear higher divisions usually even in amateur boxing you go with the headgear so here we are any which ways underway Jitendra Thakur versus Mukul Saini first round of three remember amateur boxing rules apply it's not professional boxing which means three minutes three rounds enjoy the fight your opponent needs to be your staple diet show us some punches if they are in punches we just do not mind right there tries the uppercut does not succeed you know evasive skills if you have good uh, footwork you oh well done great stance what he did was he had uh, high guard action and then prevented himself Jitendra Thakur using some old school pressure tactics because uh, he probably knows as we all do by now that Mukul Saini is the more favored boxer that's a good tactic to have and Mukul Saini doing what most boxers usually do try and occupy the center of the ring try and dominate the center of the ring what you can do is then push your opponent towards the ropes maybe to a more advantageous position of pushing him into the corner below the belt hit nahi kar sakte hold nahi kar sakte trip kick headbutt wrestle you cannot push your opponent you cannot head, hit uh, at the back of the head shoulder forearm elbow ye sab allowed nahi hai dead minute kabhi beete ko hai and action packed tries it yeah zabardast action weight lifting mein bhi humne action dekha tha jahan par maharashtra ke weight lifters ne impress kiya tha hum sabhi ko aur ab boxing ring ke aur hum bad rahe hai bad chuke hai darasal first round ab bhi men's 60 kg lightweight division mein jitendra saini ka jitendra thakur ka muqabla hai mukul saini ke sath on that uppercut was solid this is the jab then goes into the midriff tries the combination he's got the bob and weave as well there's something special and something rhythmic about jitendra thakur the red corner but the blue corner is coming back strong I like his stance, I like the way he deceives his opponent, I'm talking about the one in the blue, Mukul Saini. Good stance, he's got a confident upright stance, more upright than you usually see, which uh, makes him a bigger target to hit, which is why you need to have good evasive skills. Yeah, the first thing that you require as a boxer is quick footwork. Second, you need to have fast arms. Third, you need to have brain that's working all the time. Four, you need to have good discipline on the court. Five, you need to produce that you are the aggressor. Six, you need to have a good defense as well. This is the board. <laughs> Unless you're Mike Tyson who only needs great punching power. And with the hardest punch in the world of boxing was rather retired of course now and Mukul Saini is uh, going good difficult to say who's got the upper hand Jitendra Thakur has definitely been the aggressor but there are two rounds to go now when you provide the clinch actually what you do is oh no 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 when the official separates you you need to take two steps back and then you can produce the punch small little breather first round finishes <laughs>
very warm welcome back it is a hard fought encounter here between two lightweight boxers Jitendra Thakur and Mukul Saini it's difficult to say who had uh, the upper hand Mukul Saini the more decorated boxer right now on your screen in the blue corner in the red corner is Jitendra Thakur and we are all set to go in the second round it's action packed you get uh, points for clean punches scoring punches punches with the knuckle side of the face that strike the front or sides of the opponent's body or head combination of punches but the big question is none of them was heavy indeed oh he's landed a few there Mukul Saini definitely will count the judges have uh, it's not old school anymore they've got sensors in front of them that they have to press immediately as the thing that a punch has landed sort of a buzzer which uh, then goes to scores that are compiled by a computer finally they are given to the ring announcer and of course at the end of the third round we finally have a winner after the scores are compiled and announced by the ring announcer yeah there was thinking of a clinch then decides otherwise when the referee breaks you from the clinch you have to take a full step back you cannot immediately hit your opponent that's called hitting on the break oh that's heavy into the face that left jab was solid oh another right jab this time around lucky very very lucky Mukul Saini Jitendra Thakur had gone with a superb uppercut it missed his face by inches would have been in a lot of trouble had that connected it's all about being intelligent talk about intelligent boxing the first name that straight away comes to mind said is Vijendra Singh extremely intelligent boxer Vijendra what I'm most impressed about Vijendra what impresses me most about him is how he paces his bout even when he's become a professional you'll never see him in a rush never in a hurry in the ring he knows his opponent he knows his own style he's confident in his own skin my dentist also told me the other day not to rush he said when you brush do not rush <laughs> Yeah, he's rushing, he's rushing towards his opponent, he's rushing his opponent towards the ropes. And that, the fact that you are the aggressor, definitely counts good for you in the scorebook of the officials. Got a warning there, Jitendra Thakur, not to use the front part of his glove. Rub through the face of Mukul Saini. One of the oldest tricks in the book, which are of course illegal. Now, whatever little punches that... Uh, the red corner has tried Jitendra, none of them have landed, either they have been right in the air. Evasive action, very very good, tries the left hook, does not succeed. Another clinch, no, you cannot be hitting when you clinch. You cannot be hitting when you clinch. One of the major rules. I don't think we are going to have a unanimous verdict on this one Paddy, it looks very close to call. I'm pretty sure we are going to get a split here. That's my hunch, of course. The second round is just winding down. One round to go after this and it is difficult to say who is leading. So one round to go. Do stay with us. Live action coming your way. Welcome back, Jitendra Thakur versus Mukul Saini. Jitendra Thakur, the more aggressive boxer. Mukul Saini, the more intelligent, the more patient boxer, the more accomplished boxer. Who is ahead after the first round? It was very, very difficult to know. Pretty sure we got a split one on that. Second round, I think Mukul asserted himself a little more, especially in the center of the ring but uh, look at that this is what you get when neither boxer boxer is sure who is on top and Jitendra Thakur is not sure whether he's on top and he's come out all guns blazing far too close for comfort and if there's one boxer who has been uh, shoved into the ropes more often than not it has been the red corner the blue corner has been aggressive aggression coming in from both of them and there's something about the fouls as well the fouls are tracked and uh, that affect the scoring as well 
Indeed, but I like the way he started here, Jitendra Thakur. If he thinks he is behind, he's got two and a half minutes to correct that. And uh, he's gone into a defensive stance. Very upright, he's been Mukul Saini all through the bout. And uh, Jitendra Thakur just trying to create new angles. He's on the ropes, he's clinched him. That's always a good strategy when you're on the ropes. This is well done by Jitendra Thakur. He's come back to the center of the ring. Did not spend a lot of time on the ropes. Did not allow Mukul Saini to get his range while he was on the ropes. And that's exactly what you need to do when your opponent is struggling. Just make sure that you keep piling on the agony on him. By doing that, you pile on the points for yourself. It's all about proving more than a point in the mindset of the judges, in the scoring sheet as well. 100 seconds and under in this crucial men's 60 kilogram category. In the red corner, Jitendra Thakur. In the blue corner, Mukul Saini and Padamji Chirauth in the company of Sid Pandey. Warning there. Minute and a half to go in this bout, and uh, Mukul Seri, the more accomplished boxer of the two, oops, tries an uppercut and misses, just about misses. That allows Jitendra Thakur to come back punching. Good counter punching by Jitendra Thakur. I think he was lucky to have escaped that uppercut. That would have been some blow had that connected. Just a few inches apart from his chin. Oh yes, and now it's under 60 seconds from here on. Whatever you've got with you, Jitender, you just might be trailing with the points because no doubt, Jitender, Mukul has been the aggressor. He has landed more solid punches. His defense has been cleaned. And you get points for finesse. The marking is just like that. Love the way he's moved in the center of the ring. Always in command, always in dominant form. Has been Mukul Saini. Last 40 seconds to go. Jitendra Thakur has to give this everything. There it is now. That's a warning. Under 20 seconds left in this uh, particular bout. And. Uh, Jitendra has to give it all. He's the one who's actually preventing himself there. Aggressor yet again, Jitendra Thakur. That has been the trend. And you have to say that Jitendra might be the classic in a world full of trends. He has been good and solid. It's done and dusted now. Jitendra Thakur has tried his best. Mukul Saini paced his bout very well, I thought. I liked his positioning at the center of the ring. He made Jitendra Thakur move rather than the other way around. Very stylish in his footwork as well was Mukul Saini. Had a very upright stance, good evasive skills as well. Center of the ring, both of them, the scores are being compiled. And one hand will go up as soon as the scores come to the ring announcer. We are waiting, as are the two boxers. Now, this is the moment of truth. This is the time when the heart beats. Forget about the players, forget about the coaching staff and the commentators. Both of us are on the edge of our seats. Is it going to be the blue corner? Is it going to be the red corner? Red corner, Jitendra. Blue corner, Mukul Saini. Verdict coming soon. Oh, the blue corner was looking and he was actually surprised. Yes, I'm pretty sure this is a split verdict. It definitely has to be. Yes, it is. Confirmation there. MDSU Jitendra Thakur representing that university. 60 kgs in the lightweight category has defeated Mukul Saini, the more fancied boxer who for me definitely had the better of the first round the second and third rounds were much more even but well done to you lad you kept confidence within yourself and there is some of the highlights in a well fought encounter no doubt about that i particularly felt oh that right upper cut was solid into the chin and then both the boxers round number two i thought believed uh, it went to the blue corner Mukul. but in the final round and in the first round i think it was the red corner who made sure that he was a hedge tender Thakur winning this bout. He marches onwards, Mukul Saini, unfortunately for him, this is the end of the journey. He had 
Jitendra Thakur on the ropes, Mughal Saini. And it's fair shares of ups and downs this bout. And in the end, Jitendra Thakur had done just about enough in the third round.